But Surah Tufatia, when reading her plus the translation, I saw it and linked it to, 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 to the Lord's Prayer. Yes, give us our daily bread, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from every evil. And when I re read the Surah Tufatia, um, it's Surah Tufatia was praise, is praising uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, he's also asking for the proper direction. He's also for asking for mercies. You see, I said, uh, because I loved it, I read it, I said, ah, a change is as good as a rest. <laughs> Let me just cross the borders. I want to become a Muslim. My name is uh, Abdul Wali, my Muslim name, and uh, I was called Willy Sochien, but right now they say it called me Willy Sochien. Hometown, the county is Homer Bay County. That's where I grew up. And uh, that's where I attended my primary school to secondary school. And uh, this Willy Sochien is a teacher by profession. I pursued teaching at uh, Nakuru Teachers Training College. Where I graduated in 2014. As a child growing up, we had uh, some of our friends who were Muslims and we attended uh, just primary together. But uh, from primary four to class eight, I did not attend with them. And uh, I was an SD, a staunch SD. That is, yeah, I could. Uh, offer some of the prayers and uh, to some they called me pastor and uh, according to the my behaviors <laughs> they were just good i was one of the people being given examples with uh, if you say it so and so it's having a good example but uh, nevertheless even my mother a staunch sda was a staunch sda and uh, also my father is a christian my father could go sometimes to any whether Catholic or SDA, but to me I could see the, any ground which for the, my father. So the family we were they were Christians, and uh, right now they are still Christians. So to me, uh, my influence in Islam is that uh, uh, by you know when the the surrounding or the environment can change whatever you do the environment, yeah. So after completing Form 4 and also after completing the, the, the TTC, the environment I was, it was full of uh, Muslims and we interacted. That's from the interaction, that's how I started digging deep on how to start finding the, how Muslims are and the behavior and the religion and the culture. To me, to be frank, is that um, Muslims, before I became a, mo a Muslim, what we were hearing is that uh, they are associated with the genes, yeah, and associated with uh, ill-gotten wealth, yeah. So if you are a Muslim, in, according to the customs of the non-Muslims, you have just gone there. If you, be, if you decide to become a Muslim, you have gone there to look for wealth. Uh, you have gone there to look for wealth. So we're saying that, ah, we can't associate with those people who are worshipping the jinn and worshipping Muhammad eh? and uh, looking after worldly materials, that is wealth. So immediately I became a Muslim, they expected uh, a negative thing. They said, oh, this one has gone to look for wealth. No, it is also good because wealth is what we want. I said, no, I know what I've gone to look for. It is not wealth because I know I'm a teacher, I'll be employed and I'll get the job I want and uh, I'll move on yeah, because I know if it is getting wealth, uh, it will be through uh, teaching, but no any other thing. Yeah. So that is what they say about uh, uh, Muslims that are associated with that, the jinn and the wealth. In high school, I never knew, I did not even think of at once or twice to become a Muslim. I just thought of enriching my faith in Christianity. And uh, even uh, at college, I never thought at once because I was uh, a leader there. In fact, I was uh, the secretary of the Adventist Youth Organization in the college. I even uh, took the privilege to 
uh, to, to, to offer the sermons to people, calling them to come and worship only uh, Jesus Christ, you see? Yes, and uh, to lift the name higher up. That is it. And so this one just came one day because of the influence. I just sat with a friend. They used to tell me, Bana, njo dini ya Islamu ni mzuri sana. Eh? Njo hata uone. And I also had interest. I said that if I can just come, I can just come and watch you pray. I see. Because what people say that there is a genie somewhere there which you are prostrating for. Eh? So I also went that day. It was uh, evening. I watched them pray. Uh, after finishing, they asked me, did you see that we are worshipping anything or uh, any genie? Did you see any image there? Like the way you put the image of Jesus on the wall and we don't know whether it is Jesus. He said, ah, I didn't see, see anything that you are uh, prostrating for. Uh, yeah, or kneeling down for or crying for. So I started, I told them, give me time. I'm going to, uh, to decide. I'm going to make a decision. But uh, giving me time, they left me just a small book. Mm, it was just uh, English translated. I told them the language I can understand. This thing is written in the Arabic, which I can understand. The English translated. Just we sele I selected just a few verses, you see. But uh, to me, I just saw that it was uh, as normal as any other book because uh, there was nowhere written which can lead to blasphemy. Uh, which can uh, lead to even uh, intriguing uh, another denomination. It was just reading it normally because, uh, you know, it is this, this Surah to Fatiha, which I read mostly because I could understand it. The rest, to me, frankly speaking, I, will, I could not understand. But Surah to Fatiha, when reading it plus the translation, I saw it and linked it to, 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 to the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Give us our daily bread, lead us not into temptation, deliver us from every evil. And when I read the Surah to Fatiha, um, it's Surah to Fatiha was praising, is praising uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah, he's also asking for the proper direction. He's also asking for mercies. You see, I said, uh, because I loved it, I read it, I said, ah, a change is as good as a rest. <laughs> Let me just close the borders. I want to become a Muslim. I want to become a Muslim. By then, I had uh, a wife and uh, one son. I said this thing, I can't decide it alone. Let me tell my wife what I have decided about. So when I went back to the house, I told the wife that, you know what? Uh, don't you think that it is better we become Muslims? <laughs> I said, what? He said, eh, me can't the wife here. Yeah. Was a Kalenjin wife, and you know Kalenjin, so ladies with <laughs> Islam told me, told me, eh, but uh, do you think that your decision is good? Um, later on, I also convinced, I said, there is nothing bad they are doing. Look at this translation of the, of the Quran. Do you see that uh, it, it, it is more more advanced than what, what, what we say there. There are so many things. He said, ah, this one is yours. I'll support you. I'll support you. I said, let him first of all contact my father also. I contacted my father and my father came just because of that. Yeah, he had that. I want to become a Muslim because he was also interested in Islam, my father. He had already joined and uh, did not uh, go to Madrasa. So when was a pra when my father was a my father also anyway is a revert. When was approached to go to Madrasa, said, Ah, me I'll study here. Yeah. My my age <laughs> is now a bit advanced. So because you uh, you have decided to be a Muslim, I'll support you. You go and study. That's what my father told me. Go and study Islam because uh, this is not a religion which you can just be in that religion and you just stay like that. That one you are wasting your time, he said to me. So my wife also agreed that go and study. The imam was called, you see. 
So after Imam was called, they told me to take Shahada. You see, I took Shahada in the mosque. It was uh, Maghrib. I was green of any any any, any action. Eh? I did not know. I was just following, eh? like goats being taken to Malishoni, Kwenda Kurudi. Eh? Then I said to myself, I'm a teacher. I need to seek knowledge. It's because uh, if I be like this, I'll not know. Because there is one thing which I can remember. I went to pray that day. That day, <laughs> it was uh, in the morning. No, nilisilimu kama jana, like yesterday. Then the following morning, it was Margaret. Then the Bishai, I skipped because I thought it would act like any other religion like Christianity. Whereby if you don't go, if you don't go to church this Saturday or Sunday, yeah, you cannot yeah, <laughs> pay it. Or you can, <laughs> you see, you it just gone that way. Mm? I left, I skipped, I said, ah, I'll go in the morning. Bishai, I didn't go. So in the morning, yeah. <laughs> Allah Akbar, you know, I went there and prayed. I prayed uh, and I didn't know that uh, there are some situations which when you are at such situations, you can't pray until you cleanse yourself. Education is really good. And I encouraged those who converted after me. I told them that don't even waste even a single day of, oh, I'll go, I'll be reading at home, I'll be studying at home. That is a waste of time, man. I told them, just go to Madras. Even in a boarding for even three months, you get basic knowledge. You will mess up. <laughs> no one will. You will mess up and you will conflict yourself not knowing that you are messing up. You know, there are some things, knowledge, ujinga, in a tolewa kwa kusoma. So that's how it started. And I went to Madras on 28th, 26th of August. After converting, now I was a Muslim. You know, it happened coincidentally. The day I reverted, the following day, I was supposed to, I was supposed to host some of the church members. You see? <laughs> you see? I was supposed to host on a plain full truth. Huh? I was supposed to host church members, four of them, because we were to have crusade the following day, you know, and I was a very important figure in that, <laughs> for that thing to be successful. For it to be a success, I was an important figure there. Yeah. So <clears throat> they came to me, it was uh, after praying Asri. I went to pray Asri, Nikaruti to Kwanyumba, and I was uh, hiding my face. Nikuwa na jibana bana, tembea na okuta, <laughs> kuenda kurudi, naenda, na tembea na okuta, sitaki watu wanione ni metoka mosque, metoka mosque kwa sababu, they know I was a staunch Christian. Ah, Willis, what has God in your mind? If it is wealth, your father is having wealth, you will have wealth. You see, I told them, no, I'm not looking for wealth. I just want a change of denomination. <laughs> My friends, knew, my cousins started knowing it. My brothers knew it. So my friends, I was having major problem with my friends, not even my brothers and the cousins. Major problem was with my friends, church members. Ah, they just saw me. I, I had that. And it was just rumors to them. This is now Muslim. This is now Muslim. Ah. So when they, we met together and story, that is the topic of discussion by then. It went like that. It went like that. Kumbe, dunia ina raba. Eh? <laughs> ina kifutio. It went like that and until they came to get used to it. Because after, after, after reverting, it was just two weeks then I went to Madrasa. Because I was also tired of hiding myself up to that moment. I said for this to, uh, to, to, to clear off, I must disappear from this vicinity. I must disappear from this area, <laughs> not to be seen. Until I finish madrasa, you see, I talked to So my wife, being that I was a Muslim and was a Christian, I told you lack of knowledge might lead to destruction. I didn't know many things. I saw it like it was just normal. So I said, oh, how can I leave my, my wife for just 
changing religion. I can't. Let me just be with my wife. So the day I was seen off to one study in Mombasa, my father was present, Imam was present, the committee was present. I took it so serious. I did, yeah, I told everybody it must be something which is official. And when I'm getting out from my house, I know the kind of people I've left my wife with. I told him, Mom, take care of my wife. This is my son. Me, I'm just going to. And in fact, when I was doing that, I was teaching in a certain private school. I didn't mind of losing that job, by the way. I don't know. By that time, I don't know what just came. I did not even mind that now I'm going to lack money. Eh? So I did not even mind of uh, that I'm going to lack money. What I minded is that I must have knowledge is when I come back and uh, start telling uh, my peers about you know this love. Because that time, even when they were talking to me, eh? Quranically speaking, I could not tell them the, the, the things they understand. Because when you know when someone has just uh, opinionated the mind that this dean is like this and that, and you are a new revert. There, there is no way you can convince them. Right now, they, they know me very well. They know me, Minimoto Akotia, Baliata Nikirudi. They can still, <laughs> they know that I can convince them and come. <laughs> yeah. I, I took it as a, la, going to seek for knowledge and also adventure. Because also it was the first time, you see. So first time arriving in Mombasa, you know, there, uh, I didn't even know where to start, but uh, I was told the person to take me, to receive me uh, as soon as I alight from the vehicle that early morning. I was warmly received and I found uh, people there in Mombasa, they are totally different people. Yeah, if it is humility, uh, that is where you can get true definition of humility. They are so humble. Uh, they are not uh, 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 arrogant, you see. They warmly received me. And uh, it, the connection was done earlier on before I even started the journey that so and so will come. is a, a new convert to Islam. And uh, you receive him and take him to Madrasa, Majlis. So as soon as I was received, we went up to Kisauni first. Kisauni, that person was coming from Kisauni. So the following day, I slept there. The following day, at around uh, Sanani, we arrived at Majlis there. In fact, when I arrived there, uh, I saw the way Madrasa is. Huh. With that, my Umri, my age, and also someone who was used to sitting comfortably. <laughs> I was welcomed. I was uh, given uh, a kanzu, mashallah. Their majlis, in fact, it was a good, good institution. I was given kanzu. I started putting. But the, the first challenge now when I, I got there is uh, sitting down and eating with your hands. That's the first challenge I got. Eh? <laughs> That's the first challenge, and it was big. Then to eat now, the following day, when going to the classes, I thought I'll sit comfortably, like uh, the way a teacher can sit comfortably. I, was, uh, I can tell you, my friend, it was plainly sitting on the Zolia, the carpets, or Mabusati. Mm -hmm. I found everything totally different. Memorization in every aspect. Bit, Adith, memorize. Start tells you, Memorize this one tomorrow, you will say it. Quran, memorize it. So memorizing, Surah Tufatia, I could I just memorized when I was there, but written in Latin, eh? when I was still uh, there uh, at home, but written in Latin. But could say it in a manner such that if you were there by that time hearing me, the way I could recite it, Ungesema tu, this is a new person here. You see? Yeah, the lovely, eh, the dictions could just tell it that this is a new revert. You okay? And uh, the memorization of the Quran was the most challenging part. 
because a new language, you are memorizing a new language, you've never, never been taught, you have not been taught on even on how to communicate in that language, but you want to memorize <laughs> the Quran in that language. So, so I said, because I wanted it, let me just, let me just do it. Let me just finish the three months, I go home. I said like that, that I want to finish three months, I go home now, I've learned the basic things on how to pray. In fact, I went there to learn on how to pray and to say the supplications were in every aspect of the of prayer. Uh, I was not used to even waking up, waking up for early morning prayers and also waking up to memorize so that you impress the study in the morning. You read very well for a study. You know, there ni kujituma tu. Hakuna mwenye pia anakulazimisha kwa sababu we ni mtu mzima umeenda hapo umeacha mtoto nyumbani na bibi. Sasa tena unataka mtu akulazimishe please go and read go the way that they are being uh, <laughs> first uh, came that oh you go and read nini nini there ni kujituma. So tulijitahidi hapo and uh, I say that I got a lot of favors. Immediately I reverted to Islam. I got a lot of favors. Uh, because I, I don't know why a lot of favors came. Um, I got it first of all from the runner of the madrasa. Yeah, I got it again from the institution. We had another institution around there. They had that. There is a teacher here who has come. A certain, uh, there is a university there who was once at uh, Kisauni. I went there as a teacher of English. I could taught the year one and the year two. So even around there, I could teach many of the my, my fellow uh, students even some of the tafid who are doing class eight and also are the tafid i could teach them english free of charge so i got a lot of favors you see so that's uh, about uh, being in madras before finishing that i got engagement with the raf international university the then raf i think now it's called the islamic university okay yeah also with them i could uh, teach english there for 2018 you see so after graduating i graduated and i got the certificate and let me tell you one thing i wanted even now to i had a passion of studying more than the the the, the, the stage i left at i had that passion in fact so why is that passion the, was not complete at that time because of the pressure now from the from the family yeah so I just graduated and got the certificate and uh, started to stay in Mombasa again. Now not even going to going home. Because I found that when I graduated, the amount, the, 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 the amount of money I could get as a teacher in Mombasa uh, is more than the money I got as a teacher there back at home. So me, <laughs> I weighed the amount of money I could get as salary. And I said, ah. I got the knowledge and now there is a good school here. Oh, I said, no, let me just stay in this school. Mm. I became in that school as a teacher. I could now teach IRE very well because now I had a lot of knowledge fresh from the college. I could now teach IRE very well. So I stayed in Mombasa there again until what made me to go home. Do you know what? Corona. Going back. You know, my wife was not there, left. Yeah? yeah, she left because that I just thought even up to now, I still don't know. We left each other like that. It was just by fate. Ah, I made my mind. I said, now I am single. Yeah, I'm not uh, even engaged anymore. I said that now I'm single. That was around by 2018. Uh, you are 2017. Nilikuwa bado na mpembeleza, mpembeleza. That, oh, just come, you know, this dean, I'll teach you, nini, nini. Many things I'll, I'll teach you. Eh? Bado na mpembeleza hiyo 2017. 2018, it became a reality that she was no more. So I said, because now I'm single, let me start a new journey of looking for a spouse. If there can be a better option of leaving Islam to another religion, Islam still becomes the better option. Mm, and it is now the best. Since I became a Muslim, I can say 
only the challenge I've met is only that my wife living. That's the only challenge. The rest I did not get. And uh, in Islam, what has made me to be very proud of it, and uh, it has changed my life by increasing my network, uh, my network with the people. And also another thing, in Islam, I found that uh, it gives you a peace of mind. Peace of mind in that uh, sometimes uh, you do things with the sharia. Ukifanya jambo, unafanya na sharia. Ukikumbuka, ini kifanya hivi, this is the this is the repercussion or if i don't do this one i can substitute it with this one or if i don't do this one at this time i'm still given some grace period of doing what of doing it and in islam there are so many alternatives of not making the religion a burden but have not regretted it that oh why did i become a muslim in fact it has regulated some of my behaviors in fact, my spiritual growth as a Muslim and my work as a teacher, first of all, if I start on the spiritual growth, uh, you know, daily we learn new things. Daily we learn new things. And as a teacher, I learn new things on how to handle some of the learners who are a bit stubborn. This person will cool down. You say, hey, if I'm even to being told even the ayah from the Quran, and I should change my behaviors. Eh? It helped me to control my anger. You know, yeah. Because uh, I told you that uh, I, I was, before that, I know, I, <laughs> I was someone else. So, <laughs> so it controls me in that anger and also to manage the learners. Spiritually, uh, it makes me to move closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are so many little things you do and you are told if you do this, your sins are forgiven, past and before. If you do this, your little sins are forgiven. When you pray every time, my advice is that uh, uh, you should follow your passion. You follow your heart. Yeah. Follow your heart because when you follow your heart, you will find yourself very, very much happy. You know, if you just live there to impress people, yeah, you are the one who will not get healed. Impressing people won't take you anywhere, anyway, by the way. Because when you do impress a fellow human being, that day will come when the human being will not see the 99 good deeds but only see. The one bad deed. Islam is not a bad religion. It's a good religion.